What's going on everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Boston Red Sox versus Tampa Bay Rays. Major League Baseball matchup going down Saturday, September 28th, 2024. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games that I love, including my daily $19 best bet, head on over to PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. But let's get to this one. Between the Boston Red Sox and the Tampa Bay Rays, the Boston Red Sox sending out Cutter Crawford for the start in this one while the Rays will counter with Shane Baz. And uh, Crawford, you know, finally got a win last time out against the Minnesota Twins. Seven two-thirds innings of three-run ball, gave up eight hits, had seven strikeouts in the start, but, you know, did a good job. He didn't give up a home run, which has been the problem for Crawford for much of the season. But even then, the Red Sox had lost each of his previous six starts. And finally, you know, got the run support that he needed. It was an eight to one, and uh, should, excuse me, a um, let me just make sure which game of the doubleheader nine to three win for the Red Sox in that game. Pardon me, but still, you know, Crawford did enough to help his team get the win. Problem for the Red Sox is that we're at a it's sort of a moot point now. They're just playing out the string at this point. And granted, so are the Tampa Bay Rays. And if you've heard me before, I'm sorry, I sound like a broken record. I haven't trusted this Tampa Bay Rays offense for much of the season especially since the trade deadline when they offloaded a ton of pieces at as a uh, you know a wild a team in a wild card spot at the time to basically say like hey we know we're in a wild card spot but we're not contending this year so let's just offload pieces however i think this is a decent matchup for the rays because i just don't like cutter crawford either and the tampa bay rays have been able to you know at least be somewhat competitive against right-handed pitching in the last 2 weeks they have a better batting average than the red Sox do against righties Better isolated power numbers, better team OPS numbers than the Red Sox do. And I like Shane Baz more than I like Cutter Crawford, especially. I mean, Baz, in his last seven starts, a 2.25 ERA. Pitching extremely well. He's given up two runs or less in, um, in each of his last six starts. Four of those, he's gone at least six innings. So quality starts central for Shane Baz lately. And last time he faced the Red Sox, a couple starts ago, back on September 17th, it was seven innings of two hit, two run ball with a home run. But he got the win in that one for the Rays. There's only it was uh, the series opening win for the Rays in that one, and uh, you know the Rays, they've been able to uh, to take take some of the recent games against the uh, the Red Sox as well. And uh, when these two teams met at Fenway to start the year, Tampa Bay took three of four there as well. So I'm going to go with the Tampa Bay Rays here. It's not often I'm going to do it because I don't like this Tampa Bay Rays team, but I'm not going to. I can't fade them every game, and you know they're you know we only have a couple more opportunities to do it. So. I'm going to take the Tampa Bay Rays in this game. I think Shane Bass has a good start, and that's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. While you're at Pick Dogs, check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business and tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.